What's up, guys? I'm the Actai Kyle. I'm here because Keo is holding me hostage at gunpoint to talk about his manga. Oh. <laughs> oh. Shit, are you eating? <laughs> are you fucking eating right now? Are you serious? You said to start whenever, whenever you were ready, so I was. While eating. <laughs> This better not be in the- this better not be an actual recording of it. <laughs> this is the actual recording! Oh, fuck you. I had to. Alright. I love right. you. Alright, are, are we actually rolling with this or are you gonna fucking start? No, we're rolling with this, my guy. Oh, I'm kidding, Keo. It's all about the show. Come on, man. <laughs> Trust me, I wouldn't say anything if- I, I wouldn't be doing this if Keo wasn't my friend, and if he if he wasn't my friend and I, I hated him, I'd actually, I would actually start by saying that this is terror, this is a terrible series, but I actually am really enjoying it. Aww. So. Anyway, no, hold on, before you actually start, let me say something. I am not holding him at gunpoint. He's holding me at gunpoint, so I have to listen to him talk about my manga. That is a lie! I am not holding you at gunpoint, you shut the fuck up! You were the one literally begging me for, like, weeks to do this! No, I am not! Stop, you're making me think <laughs> I'm a bad person! You wanna know what, Keo? You... are an awful, disgusting, terrible person, and your mom is a nice lady. Thank you. She raised a great person! I hate you for that. Anyways, so, because nobody's, for the most part, might not know what this is, uh, would you like to tell us about The Chronicles of Kyo? Sure. The Chronicles of, uh, the Chronicles of Kyo is a manga that I have made starting last year, around June, that it, it revolves on the, the man, not the man, the boy named Kyo Okazaki, and he, he traveling around the world. Going on adventures and shit, but along the way, these evil bad guys know something about about someone in his life, and he's getting dragged into it, even though he didn't really want to. And then along the way, he meets some friends, and it's just gonna be a wonderful adventure. Okay. Yes. Um. So, how did you come up with the concept of the Chronicles of Kyo? Well, originally it was gonna be a more of like a monster hunter thing where Kyo would do a bunch of missions and go hunt on, hunt on like monsters or do missions like get eggs or I don't know feed fish. Hmm. But then, when I when like around last year, I decided to redesign him because I just wasn't feeling that the original Kyo I had drawn, and what I was going with I don't feel I just didn't feel like he had a proper like basis. He was just all over the place. He was a SAO character. He was a Naruto character. He was a Dragon Ball Z character. I just didn't know what to do with him. He Kame. Was uh, he was my he was my own guy. And then I was just like, you know, I'm just gonna redraw him. I'm gonna redraw him and give him a new outfit, give him a new purpose. And the kill you see now is the fourth attempt at that. And uh, the two characters that are in the volume one cover page of this that I have on here right now. Uh, are Kyo and Madoka, so what were your inspirations for both of them? Well, Kyo is just a character I randomly made and I just gave him random brown spiky hair. Well, the original design, which I'll probably give at so you guys can see, is the, he has brown spiky hair. Well, the, yeah, the original design, but he had brown eyes. Is this the one that looked like Callum from... Pokemon. No, 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 no. That, that, that was a, that was a Sword Art Online OC thing. Doing. Oh. No, this one he had a green vest with like that had a hoodie on it, and then an orange shirt, and then um, black pants, and a giant Buster Sword. Like as in Xenoblade, like or. Final Fantasy. Hmm. I was really into um, Crisis Core, and the Final Fantasy Final Fantasy VII movie. Sounds hardcore. It was. Anyways, uh, so what about Madoka? Madoka um, originally wasn't gonna be Madoka. She was gonna be a a girl with long, um, long silky black hair that like would like just mess with Kyo all the time. 
Her mm. name was um, Yuki Hina, the original character. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't know. But since I decided to reboot Kyo, I might. I decided to reboot uh, reboot the um, enti- like the entire like um characters that were gonna be in the original idea for the manga. Mm. And I just scrapped um Yuki Hina because she just kept getting too like too Asuna y of a personality. I mean, I was. 15 or 16 when I first no, I was 13 when I made her, okay? Sword Online was a thing. Okay. I didn't know what I was doing. Okay. But then, like, randomly I decided, I want a short-haired girl. Mm-hmm. And this is when I was, um, doing the whole, um, a, a different iteration of the manga, when, with, like, a different, uh, still, like, this a version of Kyo, but the third version of him. And I decided to give you, you know, a different name and shorten the hair, but that little one chapter thing I did didn't work well so I decided to scrap them both retry again and I decided short pink hair sounds good give her a long jacket that goes to her like thighs but pink hair originally the jacket was going to be pink but I decided to make it yellow for some reason that I don't remember hmm. and that just happened she was going to have a hammer at first but I decided to make her like a, a fist fighting person alright so, if you guys want to go read it now, uh, before I ask any more questions, as these will be sort of spoilers to the um, first volume, the first volume, please go check it out. It will be in the description below. The first six okay. chapters are out, which are, is volume one, and then you can pause. The great part about YouTube, right, is you can pause the video. Really? Yeah. You can click the link in the description down below. You can click it, and it will take you to the Facebook page of the Chronicles of Kyo. And there you yeah, will find... The chapters will be in posts. Don't go to photos. There's a bunch of... Mm. Yeah, it's, bunch it's, it's, of... it's weird, kind of-ish. Oh, yeah, I, I, don't get, I don't get Facebook's photos section, but just go to the posts. I mean, is it more organized in DeviantArt? No, Devi- I haven't updated DeviantArt. Okay, so yeah, just I'll just link the Facebook page. So do that yeah. now. I recommend reading this, and if you guys want to come back and uh, read the uh, uh, and see what questions I asked Keo, then you can. Yeah. Because these will be done for every volume. Because... We will wait. We'll give you a t- uh, five second wait, real quick. <gasps> okay, five seconds. <sighs> I, I I held my breath. For like five seconds, and I saw the light. Oh my god. Anyways, um, so I need to ask about everybody's favorite part, at least from what I read too. At least from everyone who has read it. Okay. It is literally the longest standing meme of our whole entire group. Oh no. Keo. Yes. What are you resting as my house? I hate you. <laughs> So tell me about that, Keo. <laughs> what was it originally? Well, what's the what is the original line? Um, as as thanks, would you guys like to rest at my house? But what was the line that you wrote in? As thanks, would you like to rest thing as my house? Now All I right. have an answer for why it's like that. Okay. You see, around the summertime, I decided to stay up late and work on the second chapter, and um. Well, it was really late, and I was doing all the typing for the um, pages after drawing everything out on GIMP. I didn't have anything good until, just until like, a, recently. But, um, but I, I just was really tired, and I wasn't paying attention. And I guess I just put, uh, uh, my mind thought I put, as things, would you like to rest at my, my house? But apparently, the actual me put, as things, would you like to resting as my house? And I won't change it because Ax and everyone else will just get really sad at me if I change the meme. Well, I mean, if it's there in your Facebook, well, I mean, you know that if it's if it ever becomes official, they're gonna make you change it. Of course. So I'm not gonna get mad as long as long as long as you keep it in the Facebook post, and you never ever delete it ever. Oh my God! Okay. Well, okay. that's an actual serious question. Well, um, uh, my next question is best asses, but they have to be the male asses. I'm kidding, no. 
Um, oh my god. No, 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 I didn't even write that on there, but you asked for a serious question, so I, so I decided to give you a non-serious question. Okay, but anyways, the next four questions are actually serious questions. Okay? Okay. Uh, would you like to talk about Kyo's eyes? Oh, like how I came up with it? Well... Or... Yeah, the concept of Kyo's eyes, because everybody, because it's always just like, oh, the power is in your eyes, and then the thing at the end, at, in chapter 6, you know. Yeah, okay, so it's Kyo's eyes. Originally, like, like even, like, earlier, like, this was a very, when I decided to make Kyo, you know, I decided to add that thing. Originally, he was actually going to have light in his eyes, but when I was actually, this is like, when I did the first page of chapter 1, I decided to, like, change up everything. I was drawing Kyo and his little sister, uh, Miho, and I decided, huh. You know, I honestly thought that she was her, his older sister. Nope, she's 12. Wow. Leaving a 12-year-old to live on their own, how dare he! He's 14. Anyway, he, his eyes, I was like, when I was coloring him, I was like, you know, I wonder if it'd be interesting if I actually didn't put any light in his eyes and make that a, good, a really interesting concept with a power. Because he was going to have the same power. But I felt like I was gonna be something like everyone who had the power would have red eyes. But I thought, nah, that's too boring and cliche. Hmm. I, I thought to myself, um, seventeen-year-old Kyo, well, me, and I was like, no, nope, we can do this, and everyone in his family will have one. So far that you've seen, which is just two people, actually, and, and the father, actually. And from and if you saw the anime opening that I made on my YouTube channel, link in the description. Oh, um, I have to link that too. Come on, Keo. There are there are other people who have the power of the eyes, hmm. and but um we don't know if they're related to him or not. Well, you don't. I do. Well, I mean, I do too because he basically told me everything. Well, you asked. No! Remember when we were in that call a few months ago, and you just wanted to talk about your thing for like five hours? Well, you were interested and... in it too. I was, but I was just saying. Oh. So yeah, so technically, I never asked you. You just decided, okay, I'll just show this guy. Well, wait, uh, shut up. All right. Okay. Why are elves in the series? I mean, okay, honestly, you actually, we haven't actually seen an elf in the story. Well, we've seen a half-elf. We've only seen two half-elves. I don't know, well, when I was, um, when I made up the concept, I thought it'd be pretty cool that there would be, um, well, I mean, there's gonna be a bunch of, like, other races right now. The main, the main focus with that, with the little mini, with the first arc is, mm -hmm. the, um, half-elves, which is, um, which is, like, the main evil guild that hates them for some reason, which will be known very later on in the series but I decided to base it around like half of and why they were why they're a thing and mm. why people hate them <laughs> and elves I just thought it was just really cool and I think I guess I thought it'd be really boring if it was just humans and so, uh, you answered gonna... what no you go on gonna... you go on I was gonna I was gonna say that there's gonna be other like races as well I'm just bad at introducing shit, but there's going to be. I feel like I I I'm, I'm going to public implant. I'm, I feel like no, not feel like. I'm going to implement like mermaids, um, harpy people, um, let's see, beast people. Hmm. All has their own little races. Okay, is is that it? Yes. That's all you want to say? Yes. Q, I have. I actually do have a serious question for you. Okay, what is the serious question? Do you have observation hockey? Because that was actually my next question. No, oh my god. No, I I was actually I actually have it on here. Are there gonna be more mythical creatures? And you answered my question. Ah, oh, I have conquerors hockey. I see. I mean, I have observation hockey, so I'm not good with the arm in it. I'm not. I'm no. Anyways, would you like? Um. Uh, so essentially. We know a couple of things about Devil Heart, right? Yes. So, there is something I would like to ask. Okay. So before before I ask my 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 serious question, what do you what do you like to inform us about Devil Heart? Okay. As far as you guys know, or as we all know, Devil Heart is a guild 
is a dark guild in the con in the continent that I forgot to name. I think I named it the continent of like sound. The continent of the sound village with their leader no. Orochimaru. I feel like that's why I named it. I don't exactly remember. It's somewhere on a sheet of paper somewhere. I just haven't had time to actually name it. Or it was no, it's the continent of note. That's what it is. The continent of note. Mhm. Mm and there is it's not there's not the only dark guild by the way. There's many others. But this dark um this dark guild um is a it's a very it's a big one. And it ha it's they hate half of us for some odd reason to where in based in some of the little off off branded little mini guilds that are in random ass towns. They um if there's half of if there's half of them in there they will um pr like pr not pr like persecute them not like prosecute them or they like kill them they'll probably just torture them and make their lives very very shitty as seen in chapter two. Hmm. Hmm. So I would like to ask if you could tell us what the highest ranking in Devil Heart is. The highest ranking in Devil Heart right now no. is admin. Oh, right now? No. Or you want me to go right, the highest? The highest that you plan to be in Devil Heart, so that way I know the power uh, let's level. See. Well, right now, um, there is there's um, there are the grunts, mm -hmm. and then there there are, uh, um, there are um, hold on, I think I put um spec ops. I'm not 100 percent sure. You did. I did. Okay, you yeah, did. spec ops. Ki uh, Kimi. Yeah, Kimi. And then there are admins. Yeah. And the highest would have to be. Oh. Um, Is there just like a main leader, or? There's one leader who who founded the whole thing. And is that he is... is he like the highest status? Would we just go with Devil yes. Heart, a uh, Fountain? Devil Heart King, the King. That is the highest rank. That is. King. That and is. Only one person has it. Uh, that person is actually me. I forgot to tell you guys that I'm actually from the Chronicles of Kyo. Uh, thank you for, uh, thank you for all of this so much. Anyways, but, uh, I only have one more question, and that is, what could we expect in Volume 2? Um, well, we're gonna, um, expect to wrap up the fight against, um, Kyo and Saito. Mm -hmm. Um, um, see how Madoka's buried against Kimi. Mm-hmm. And, um, end up fighting the, the leader, um, of the, of this building, um, Jack. And mm -hmm. also, make sure to see if those two little scrub guys with the red hair and the black hair um, are okay, because they have been frozen since chapter 4, I believe. Mm -hmm. Anyways, uh, yeah. I, uh, uh, it has been killing me on the inside about... I've been expecting more questions, honestly. You expecting more questions? A lot more. You but see... You, you see... You right see... Now. I don't have too many questions because this is just the start off, Keo. I mean, from from the uh, from the from the things that you've given me, I have a lot more questions from those those chapters alone than whatever you could possibly have given me for for one through six. Also, I can tell you, would you, would you like to know the the two little grunts' actual names since I have not actually revealed them? You should actually reveal it because I'd okay. not actually uh, I the actually thought you did. No, I have it. The one with the um, red hair and the, that wears the green shirt, his name is Tar. Tar. And the Vegeta-looking motherfucker who has um, pierce, like, like um, ch um, clipped ears that look make him look like an elf for infiltration reasons, is Mark. Mark. Mark and Tar. Mark also, Tar. No, no, no! You should have named you should have named one of them Clar, and you should have named the other one Mar. So then, so then, so then you could have said Mar Clar, like oh. as no, no, no. Like, so do you know what that is? Nope. Uh, it's from South Park. Ah, uh, but also, if you do end up wanting to check out the manga on Facebook, be sure to um vote for the um your favorite character of the volume. I just forgot to put Ryuga there. The main dude from chapter one. Mm. Completely forgot that, but everyone else is there. And uh, wait, hold, wait, hold. is there any speculations you have? Act. Anything I you? would have to speculate would definitely be a spoiler, so I can't say anything. Yeah. Well, here's the speculation. What do you think of the guy from chapter one? 
that was in the very beginning. Well, um, I would have said that it is his dad, but if you see the intro, that can't be the case. Keo has told me otherwise. It's here. Anyways, so if you guys have enjoyed, leave a like. Keo's Facebook page will be in the description below. The problem is Keo, that is. Not my actual Facebook page. Uh, nope. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be your Facebook page, Keo. I see. So, you know. Uh, so anyways, uh... Uh, check out his channel if you guys would like commissions and such, because he does those. Um, so yeah. Might have to lower, might have to lower the prices if you talk to me. I'm a very understanding person. And uh, you should also subscribe to this channel to check out more of these discussions because we're gonna have these from now until the end of time. Pretty much until he's gonna be doing this to me until every volume is done. Uh, I'm gonna be doing this to you. I feel like you can do this when the arc is over. Uh, actually, there will be a review for that without you. So you want to know ah, what? Okay, cool. Want to know what, Keo? You want to know what? 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 I only do these for after volume, so that way I can ask questions. For after an arc, it's a review. Yeah. So yeah, like and subscribe. Talk to you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Bye.